Okay, today's tutorial is how to put the V-block onto a drawing sheet. This is a uh, not a difficult drawing, but it has some difficult tasks to do the dimensioning correctly. So here we go. First thing is I've got this drawing finished. Um, it actually asks for a front view from this way, and it asks for a right side view from there, and a top view. So the first thing to do is to get a drawing sheet. So I'm going to go File, uh, Open, and you can see that I've got a drawing sheet in there already. The way I got that, normally that wouldn't be in there, the way I got that is I go up one and go looking for my templates, which I always store underneath the Inventor file. So it's next to all my projects. I'll click on it, then I'll file Save As underneath the V block. Okay, so I'm just going to cancel that. I'm going to go File, Open, and I'm going to open that V-Block template that I've got. All right, the V-Block template, or the V-Block sheet, uh, is going to require you to have no color in your orthographic projection. You can in the isometric, but not in the orthographic. It'll also come up with a error. There it is there. It says resolve link. Just close that. What it is is it's, this logo wasn't installed properly. However, that's fine. It still works out. I'll fix that one day. All right. What you need to do is you need to make sure that you put V block in there and your name and sheet one of one. Right there, and we should be right. Isometric view and orthographic projection. You can set these sorts of things up in your template. Okay, so we're going to go for our base and here it is here, we've got a little look for our file, click on that and I've got two V blocks here because I've drawn it twice, there's one, there's the other. This is the one I did in the last tutorial so that's the one I'm going to use, just click on that and you go open. If we have a look over here, that's not exactly the front view we're after so we're flipping around there it is, that's the one I'm after. Don't worry about trying to reposition this yet. Let's get the drawing in. You can see the dotted line up the top. That's now my top view, and there's my right side view. Even though it's coloured, it won't come out coloured when I'm finished. I could colour it, but I don't want to. This little bit here, it says label view 44. I don't want that, I want front view. And if I hit this little light bulb here, we'll be able to see it when I hit OK. If the scale's too small or too big, this is where you alter it. You normally use whatever scales they've got there. And we'll go OK. You can see that I've got hidden detail in there, so that's probably the right sort of drawing layout I want. How do you change that if you're finding that you're having no hidden detail? Just double click on that, it comes up. And if you have a look there, click on that one for hidden detail, this one here for hidden lines removed. So if I just show you that, you can see that all the hidden details are gone. That's not what I want. I want them back, which is this one here. And we'll go OK. There they go. We've got the hidden detail back. This one here has got view 45 on it. We need to get rid of that. We'll put right side view. OK. And this one up here obviously is a top view. I just need to reiterate that you need to read the question before you attempt to do this. You need to answer what the question is, especially in your exam. I'm just going to drag those letters out. You can put them back later because I need to dimension this. So they're going to be in the way. Alright, just going to stop there for a second and I'll get back to you. 